So Flutter uses a flexible system that allows you to call platform-specific APIs using a method channel. Basically, the Flutter portion of the app sends a message to its host, which is the non-Dart portion of the app over a platform channel, which in the case of iOS is method channel iOS, and in case of Android is method channel Android. The iOS and Android platforms then receive the messages, they call into the platform-specific APIs using the native programming language, and then sends a response back to the client, which is the Flutter portion of the app. So for this example, we'll be creating a very basic native module with which we'll be able to get the battery level of the device. We're testing this out in an Android simulator. If we click the get battery level button, we see we get battery level at 42%. We can go ahead and change the battery level here. And then we click the button again, and it should give us the updated battery level. So let's see how we can go ahead and implement this. So here in front of me, I have an empty Flutter project that I've created and it's just got a basic container inside a stateful widget. So let's start with the Android implementation of our native method. What we'll do is we'll open up this Android folder within a new window. That way, it's going to detect it as an Android project and we can write our code in here. So I'm going to open up the Java folder, go into our com.example.battery level and there we have our main activity .kt file. And on the right, I'm actually going to open up the documentation which we're going to refer to create this module. So as you can see here, it asks us to import in certain things. We need the method channel, the Flutter engine, the Flutter activity, which is there by default. And along with that, we need the non null library. So I'm going to copy all of these out and paste them in here. Now within our main activity, which is a Flutter activity, we have to set up a channel name. So I'm just going to copy that and paste that in here. It uses the reverse domain name format. So we've got the domain reversed, and then we've got the name of the module, which in our case, we'll just call battery. Now we need to set up this configure flutter engine method within which we need to actually set up our channel. So I'm just going to copy this method, paste that in here. Basically, the first thing it does is it configures the flutter engine, and then it goes ahead and creates a method channel using this method within which we pass in our channel name. We then set the method call handler within which we'll actually call our method on our native side. Now we need to go ahead and set up our battery level method. So that's basically equivalent to the way you would do it in native Android code. So for that, we need to pull in certain things. I'm going to copy out these imports, paste them in here. Then we can go ahead and also copy out the method that's created here. So I'm going to copy that. Come below our configure flutter engine and paste that in here. The native method basically just gets the battery level and then multiplies it by 100 to give us a percentage value. Once we've got the native method set up, we can now go into our set method call handler, which we had created earlier. And then depending on whether we were able to get the result or not, we'll pass back a success or error. So here we can just copy this out and then I'll walk you through it. Basically, if the method call is for get battery level, which is the method we created here, we store the battery level within this battery level variable. Then we check if the battery level is not equal to minus one. That is, we were returned a positive battery level. We pass back a success using result.success with the battery level. Otherwise, we pass back an error using result.error and we say battery level unavailable. And if the method call is for a method that we have not created on our native side, we'll just get a not implemented error. So now that we've set up our Android version of our native module, let's head back to our Flutter project and see if we can go ahead and call this. So here back in our Flutter project, I'm just going to close out the sidebar. So we need to go ahead and import in the async library because the method passing over the channels is asynchronous. Along with that, we also need our services.dart in order to access the platform. So I'm just going to copy this out, paste it in here on top. And now within our class, Let's go ahead and create this static constant, which is platform. So let's copy this out, paste this in here. So if we just highlight method channel here, it tells us that it creates a method channel with a specified name. So basically the name we had created on our native side was our reverse domain name followed by the name of the module. And we're recreating that using this method channel method on the flutter side. So once we've got our platform, 
The next thing is to go ahead and actually invoke the get battery level method that we had created on our native side. For that, we'll set up a new method here on our Flutter app. That method is this get battery level method. So I'm just going to copy everything out from here. Let's paste that in. So basically, we start with a string of battery level within which we stored an unknown battery level. Then we have our get battery level method, which we know is asynchronous and it returns a word. So we have future word. We then just create a string battery level here within which we'll store the battery level and update our state. So because we can have a successful path and an error path, we've opened up a try and catch block here. Within our try block, we call this method here platform dot invoke method and we pass in the method we want to call on our native side. Since it's asynchronous, we pass in a wait and we know that it returns an integer value. So we've stored it into an integer result. If we don't get an error, we store the battery level within our battery level variable. In case we get an error, we display out that error message that we had passed from our native side. Next, we go ahead and just update the state by setting our battery level message to this battery level variable that we created. Now we just need to set up a widget here, which will be able to display the updated state. So if we come down here, we also have a default widget created for us. Let's copy that out. Let's just get rid of our default build method and paste that in place of it. Here, I'm going to just change this to a material app, change the child to home, wrap the center in a scaffold so that we get some default styling and change this child to body. If we save that out, Let's open up our app. Here, as we can see, by default, we're getting this message that we had set up, which is unknown battery level. If we click the get battery level method, the state should update and we should see our battery level. So we click get battery level and here it shows us battery level at 100%. We can change the battery level in the simulator and try it again. If we click battery level again, we see the battery level updates. So in this video, we were able to set up a basic Android native module in Flutter. In the next video, we'll go ahead and set the same module up on iOS.